Well, this should be fun. From Democrats whining about Judge Merrick Garland's unfair treatment to Michael Moore's latest rants, it's time to break down the three most ridiculous liberal freakout quotes of the week. Joining us now is political editor of townhall.com and Fox News contributor Guy Benson. Hey, Guy. Hey, happy Friday, guys. Happy Thank Friday you. to you, too. All right, let's start with the number three. We'll work our way to, to your favorite one. We'll start with Michael Moore. After President Trump signed that executive order that rolled out Obama-era uh, rules, he wrote out, he tweeted out, or actually put this on Facebook, historians in the near future, because that may be the only future we have, will mark today, <laughs> March 28th, 2017, as the day the extinction of human life and Earth began. Oh, man. Wow. I mean, noted scientist Michael Moore <laughs> weighing in here. Look, he's talking about climate change and some of those regulations done at the last second by President Obama. What, Regardless of how you feel about climate change policy and what we should do as America vis-a-vis -vis other developing nations and public policy, to use this, ter this type of alarmist rhetoric and saying, you know, Trump helped hurry our extinction along starting on this exact date, it doesn't help, it's unscientific, right. uh, and it also, I don't think, persuades virtually anyone. And he marginalizes himself with this ridiculous statements, uh, in my mind. Chris Matthews, I don't get the chance to watch enough of him, but he <laughs> actually had an interesting comparison. Let's listen and I'll get your comment. Let me just say, you know, we kid, I kid about everything, but, you know, Uday and Kuse working for Saddam Hussein, you couldn't go to a restaurant and have eye contact with one of those guys without getting killed. Well, here. These people are really powerful. Imagine getting to a fight in the office with Jared or Ivanka. Well, that's the they have thing. enormous power, and they're always going to be there. So comparing the president's kids to Saddam Hussein's kids. Hmm. Yeah, Saddam Hussein's sons were murderous thugs who killed lots of people, right? They were horrible human beings who met a fate that they deserved. Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump, there is no reason whatsoever to put those people in the same sentence or any remote comparison to be drawn there. And the other thing is, Chris Matthews is a liberal Democrat. I don't understand why he's not happy that Ivanka and Jared are in the room. They tend to lean a little bit more to the yeah. left. Uh, just a, a bizarre, self-discrediting comment from Chris Matthews. Sure. It, it's Maybe he hasn't thought it completely through. Just saying. Meanwhile, the number one crazy thing said this week regarding Merrick Garland, who uh, has, let's listen to this. Here are Democrats using the case of his to justify why they might filibuster against the new guy. Listen. This seat, for the first time in U.S. history, was stolen from the former president. This is a terrible precedent. Mitch McConnell's a free actor in this. This is the man who held, broke 230 years of precedent and held Judge Garland up for a year and a half and now is complaining. Doesn't, doesn't really wash. They bought the ads against Merrick Garland. Now they are buying the ads for Judge Gorsuch carefully targeted to have maximum political impact. You know, I love the fact, Guy, that nobody on the left seems to want to mention the fact that it was Joe Biden back in the day who said, you know, in the last year of a, of a president's presidency, they really shouldn't bring up anybody for the Supreme Court because it just wouldn't be fair to the next person. Yeah, and Schumer said a very similar thing in 2007. That's the thing. It is so rich watching these Democrats pretend like they're the victims in all of this. It's the Democratic Party that for decades has consistently been the aggressors in these fights. They have escalated time after time with one power grab after another to reflect their own self-interest. And now finally when Republicans retaliate a little bit, especially after that 2013 nuclear option from right. Harry Reid, oh, they're squealing like this is some great, great injustice. You know, maybe they should have won a couple elections and not spent the last 30 years doing this hardcore political hardball, which they have. It's it's laughable watching them say like, oh, it's this is somehow on the Republicans. Yeah. Let's throw in one more for a bonus round. Dr. Evelyn Farkas, remember, she's the former deputy assistant secretary of defense for President Obama. She was the one that, that came out at the beginning of March and said they were trying to get as much information as possible on uh, on then Mr. Trump, who was running for president. This is what she said. This was the reason that she said she did that yesterday. Listen to this guy and we'll get your reaction. You actually said, I, I knew that there was more. Uh, I, I became very worried because not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew that there was more. And then you actually then said that's why you have all the leaking to make sure we get it out. 
I was referring to the motivation because there had been a lot of discussion in the media about why are people leaking. I was concerned because I knew how the Russians operate, and I was reading these reports about them hacking into the elections and then giving the information to Wikipedia and that Trump people. On the dark campaign of fake news, you know, that's still ongoing. Um, we see even someone like myself get sweeped up in all of this. Right. Uh, you know, when, when people like me are speaking on behalf of process, people spin it. Uh, to suit their needs. And I think it, it may be that the Russians are behind even such fake news. Is that what she's doing? She's spinning it? <laughs> I, I think she got Wikipedia and WikiLeaks confused <laughs> there a little so bit. I think so, too. Uh, but that sounds to me like a justification of leaking classified material, which is a crime. Felony. So something to keep in mind. That's Sorry. why she looks scared to death in a lot of those shots. <laughs> no, uh, maybe she thought she was going to prison. He's Guy Benson. He plays himself on TV. Guy, <laughs> thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Thank thanks, you. Guy. All right, this tablet is... I love that. Thanks, Guy. Thanks, guys. <laughs>